it's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. And I was just standing here for a moment looking at this can of beer. And for the best part of three days, I've been looking at this can and only seeing a face. <laughs> I was only seeing a face. And it just occurred to me that it's a mermaid bent over backwards. <laughs> just, I was like, oh yeah, look at that. Really, really odd, isn't it? Really odd. I like it though. Uh, this is from Bad Seed Brewing Company and it's their Swordfish Trombone. This is a 5% ABV, uh, Modern West Coast Session IPA. Uh, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Pink can. That's quite interesting to look at. Here we go then. A little bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. We have a three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation as the beer rises up the glass there. And it's quite clear, this one. Now, every single beer from Bad Seed Brewing Company, who are based in Denmark, they all have a difference to them. They all have their own unique qualities. Like, I, I you know, looking at the side of the can there, seeing the Session IPA, even Session IPAs these days are hazy. And I was almost kind of presuming to myself that when I opened this can and pulled it out, it was going to be really, really hazy. But no, I, I like the element of surprise with this brewery. The fact that they're always doing something slightly different uh, from the last beer. So this one has been, it is a little bit of haze there. Maybe, maybe it's a case of... Uh, some cans are hazier than others. Different parts of the fermenter that the that the, the beers kind of come from the fermenter. Maybe this has come from the top of the fermenter. And maybe there's cans where the beers come from the bottom of the fermenter. So maybe some of them cans are a little bit hazier. But I like the fact that I always feel like with this brewery, I'm always on my toes. I'm never kind of like, you can't just settle down into a comfortable rhythm. As a, as a beer reviewer, you never want that anyway, to settle down to a comfortable rhythm because you're just talking about the same old things and you end up kind of like probably offering the same ratings on similar beers. You just go into like some kind of automatic mode, but you can't with this brewery because the beers are so different each time. Good carbonation, lovely looking, slightly, slightly hazy looking light amber beer. Good head retention on the beer. Let's get the aroma then. Yeah, and this is... Did I read West Coast? What have I read on the side of Martin? West Coast Session IPA, yes. There we go. So, this is very much West Coast of America. This is full-on zesty. Lemon peel, grapefruit peel, orange peel. With a little bit of a tutti fruity kind of tropical fruit aroma too. It smells really, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, in all of that, in all of the beer's zestiness, in, in all of that kind of grapefruit, orange peel, lemon peel, like you're biting on peels here with this beer, in all of that, 
I picked up a flavour right at the beginning with, right at the start, and then it kind of just washed over me because I was thinking about the flavours then. But I want to... I definitely want to pick out that flavour. There's something in here. Yes, it's like a, a small touch of vanilla. How that's ended up there, how my palate is picking up a, a small touch of vanilla is beyond me with a with a beer packed with American hops. That's that's really bizarre, really interesting. But it must be a case of the malt that they've used, the, the hops that they've used. It's only slight. It's only slight, but it's almost like a cross between a little bit of marzipan and a little bit of vanilla in there. It's a, it's a, it's an odd flavour to be in an IPA, but it's a nice flavour at the same time. It's nice to have a, again, a point of difference in the beer. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm picking up juicy orange peel, grapefruit, fleshy blood orange, carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. It's very drinkable, it's very refreshing. I could drink, I could drink about four cans of this easily. It is Friday, I'm kind of like rubbing my hands together with celebration because it's it's the end of, um, it's been the end of a busy week this week. Um, been doing lots of work in the bar, a um, bit of dot, dot and dabbing, if you know what that is. Bit of plasterboarding above the the doors there. Um, yeah, just a bit of work going on in the conservatory, which I'm quite pleased about. Uh, but it's the end of a long week. End of a long week, and I'm ready now for a few beers. Um, today, as well, is the first time, because the temperature's really dropping now. Today's the first time that I've just left my beers on the counter. So this beer... Uh, is probably the first beer review of the year where I haven't put the beers in the fridge. It's cold enough, it's cool enough out here today to be able to just say, hey, leave all your cans everywhere. Leave all your cans and bottles all over your counter and just grab a beer. And I think that kind of benefits the beer because you're drinking it at the, the, a perfect temperature, really. It's no more than 10 degrees in this conservatory. It's, how I'm standing here in a t-shirt, I don't know, it's quite chilly. But perfect beer temperature for me. If you chill a beer down too much, if you put all of your kind of IPAs in the fridge and you chill them right down, then you're going to be losing a lot of that flavour if you drink it straight from the fridge. I always advise people with their craft beer is store it in the fridge, keep the hops fresh, but when you want to drink the beer, Take it out for maybe 20 minutes before you want to drink it. Just let the temperature rise a bit. You'll get more flavour from the malt. You'll get a lot more flavour from the hops. Rating for this one then. I really like it. I really, really like this. It's really tasty. Swordfish trombone. Interesting stuff. Nicely carbonated. Great aroma. Nice look to it. The brewery, Bad Seed Brewery. Uh, head brewer, good friend of mine, Peter the Master of Hoppets, runs a YouTube channel on beer. Um, great guy, great guy. Got a fantastic young family, I hear. Um, based in Denmark, of course, as I mentioned. And uh, did, did this brewery and, and himself also. Um, and it's just great beer. It's just it, the, these beers from Bad Seed Brewing are fantastic. They really are. I've only got a couple more to go, actually. Actually, uh, Three more beers to go from Bad Seed. Really good stuff. Um, my rating for this one, I like it. I really like it. It's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.